All right, respondent conditioning, folks. This is the Pavlovian stuff that you've all been waiting for. Um, this is the CS, US, CS, US, US, CS, CS, CR, 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 all, all the R's and NS's and CS's that you want. Just <laughs> throw them right the fuck at you. No, here we go. It's really simple. An unconditioned stimulus, so a US, elicits an unconditioned response. That's nature, all right? So that is Brad screaming at me and I jump a foot, all right? So we could pair something with that. So we could take a neutral stimulus and pair it with the unconditional stimulus and that, and that neutral stimulus will then become a conditioned stimulus, which then elicits a conditioned response. The conditioned response may look the same as the unconditional response, but it does not have to be. The key is pairing the CS, which used to be a US, or which used to be an NS, with a US, and as a, that repeated pairing process, and there's a whole bunch of different methods by which you can do that, uh, that repeated pairing process will result in, a, in that, that conditioned stimulus pulling out, eliciting the conditioned response from the organism. It's learned, it's the modification of reflexes, it's Pavlov, it's Watson. That's all you gotta remember.